Hey guys, this is George, and on this video I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to download Windows 7 and how to burn it to a DVD. So, um, if you tried already to download it via the win uh, Windows um, website and you couldn't do it, um, there might be a problem with your browser. So, um, I tried it with Safari and it wouldn't work, so in this case we're going to use the Firefox, which is um, like the best uh, browser out there, I mean the one that most people use and it's very easy to use um, very good browser so what you're going to do is open Firefox or if you don't have it you can download um, just google it um, and then you're going to type in the page that's on the description so you're going to type in this page uh, microsoft.com win, uh, slash windows slash windows dash seven slash download um, dot ASPX. Enter. Um, to burn this to a CD, uh, you might have to use uh, Toast Titanium, like I will. Um, I have it right here, Toast Titanium 10. But if not, you can use any um, burning program. You can use this utility. I might do it with this utility just uh, to show you guys how to do it. So once you're here, you're gonna uh, scroll all the way down and um, you're gonna select if you're gonna use this on bootcamp or VMware Fusion I recommend you using the 32-bit version so you're gonna select a uh, language in this case English and you're gonna hit go now you're gonna be um, prompted to enter in your Windows Live uh, account and ID so once you enter that in um, I'm gonna show you what's next so uh, this is the part where many people have problems uh, depending on their browser. If you use Firefox, you will see like a small um, scrolling thing right here in the middle. Uh, well, actually, you uh, you will see uh, first your product key. Um, it's very important that you copy your product key right now because um, it's only one product key for the special um, uh, download you're going to use. So copy that in a stickies or uh, in text edit I don't know and um, hit download now and now you should see this uh, saying that you uh, your download will begin soon so uh, you must have uh, ActiveX control or the Java applet installed on your Mac so um, once that starts you, your window will uh, resize and then you will um, start the download you're gonna hit right here is trust and uh, now you're gonna save the file to your desktop or whatever you want it with an any name so once you save it you should see right here saying uh, the size the status and your um, percentage your progress so once you download the file, uh, you're going to have it right here on your desktop or wherever you saved it, and you can quit this. Okay guys, so I'm done, and now I have Windows 7 right here in a .iso format. It's a disk image uh, format, and it's 2.36 gigabytes. So now to burn it to a DVD, what you're going to do is open um, Disk Utility. And you're gonna enter in a blank uh, DVD, any type of DVD you want. So I'm gonna put it in my uh, super drive. And now, uh, right here, you're gonna select um, open disk image. So now you're gonna go to wherever you saved it. Um, in this case, I have it right here. Um, OS Windows 7.iso. So once it recognizes that it's a disk image, you're gonna hit open, and you should see it right here. So once it's right here, you're gonna um, select burn, 
up here. So once the DVD is inside, you should see right here waiting for the drive and then blank DVD-R or whatever type of DVD you entered. So once it says ready to burn, um, the speed, uh, you can enter any type of speed you want. Um, sometimes it's better to put the lowest speed, but in this case it doesn't matter. Uh, if you want to be um, careful, just put the lowest speed you can and hit burn. So now you should see writing track, that means it's burning the file to the DVD. And once it's done, you're, uh, it's gonna verify for the data unless you toggled off that option. And you should be ready with a Windows 7 DVD. Whoa, whoa.